Following the success of the Diesel Tech program between Scottsdale Public Schools and Aulic Industries, community partners got the bright idea to launch an electrical technology class for students. We had a lot of uh, just local electrical owners, businessmen, just said they're having a hard time getting kids interested in this kind of stuff. And it wasn't that the kids didn't want to do it, it's that they didn't know it existed for the, for the most part. Now a couple of these kids have just bluntly told everybody this is what I'm going to do, so they know that this is something that they enjoy. Half a dozen students were on hand for class this week, not in the classroom, but at the newly built facility inside one of Alex's shops on Avenue I. More or less, you just got to come to the terms and the reality that these kids just don't want to be sitting at a desk. So the fact they get to do anything with their hands is better than sitting in a classroom. Jake Alex says these students started with all the safety measures and are now learning the trade on a small scale. Zach Bryant, the general manager for Prima in Alliance, says having a pipeline with young people wanting to learn the trade and enter the industry is pivotal. I think there's always an easy work for us, so finding people that want to start out young and get to know the industry is vital. Some of the community partners involved with this program include Robinson Electric, Ace Hardware, Prima, and Roosevelt Public Power District. A.J. Cookshausen with Roosevelt explains why they support programs like this. At Roosevelt Public Power, we like to support stuff like this and the WNCC Lineman College because uh, we have a lot of guys who have been to WNCC that are employed with us now. And I guess we kind of realize that college isn't for everyone and that in this industry you can have a good job and a good career without going to college. And there's just a lot of opportunities in this industry. You know, it's kind of changing with the, with the switch over to green power and more, and more renewable energy. It's just, it's a good opportunity for kids to have a good career. We want to support that uh, any way that we can. When these students complete their electrical technology class, they will be well on their way to jumpstart their career if they choose to continue it down that pathway. Olick adds that they're still looking to expand offerings for students beyond diesel tech and electric. I think we'll have a lot of that crossover between classes. I'm hoping that next year back here we actually have a misbehaved age back and plumbing. So we'll have a pretty broad array of things for kids to do. In Scotch Bluff, Ryan Murphy, KNEB.TV News.